This video is primarily about these Poundland USB lights for Christmas that apparently some of them are misbehaving and there's a similar set which is a set of USB charge lead with this string of lights in between so we're taking a look at that too but we'll also be taking a look at Poundland pink nookie pills for women for sexy fun and I've already uh, taken a photo of the ingredients here and the instructions so it says these all-natural herbal capsules are designed to increase your libido. So pop two pills before playtime and say hello to fun times. Excellent, because you know I was looking for some fun times. And it says, on an empty stomach, take two food supplement capsules. And you're thinking, that kind of rules out sex after lunch then, doesn't it? Maybe it's the first thing you do when you get up in the morning. And the ingredients are... Uh, matrimony vine. Uh, now, see, they could have chosen one of the other names like goji berry, for instance, but they chose matrimony because it's all girly and wedding-like. Uh, there's chatavari asparagus. I probably mispronounced that, but I have no regrets about that. Maca root. Um, and then it's all vitamin C, vitamin E, zinc, folic acid, vitamin B12, and bulking agent. And you think, well, that's kind of less exciting than the male ones, which were stuffed with caffeine. Maybe it's because the guy's supposed to do all the work here. So let's uh, check these out. And as I did before, which was, it turned out to be very ill-advised, I'm going to actually pop one of the tablets open and taste the contents. Oh, it's all, it's all pearly and, and pink. This is probably going to go everywhere, isn't it? The last one did. Is it going to even open? I think it's opening, I think it's opening. Is it going to spill everywhere? Yes, it's spilling everywhere. We taste. Mm. It's not as bad as the male one. So let's uh, put that together. Grab some tea and uh, let's see. Mm. Mm. That's one down. I'm feeling, I'm feeling girly already. Ew. Yeah, the powder's everywhere. It really is just herbaceous extracts. So let's pop that on. Mm. To get us all primed for this uh, for this video, right? So that's me all girlified with sex pills now. So let's uh, take a look at these lights. Noting that uh, you can actually just go in the back here. Also, the packaging is huge, and it's just got this big empty void in the bottom. And you don't need to even open it up. You can just pull them out the back here, which is a bit disturbing on the basis that uh, these things also just pop off easily, which is nice because I quite like the covers that pop off. You can reuse them on other lights. Now, these things apparently, not all sets, but some of them have a flaw. And the flaw, I think we're going to have to bring in a beefier power supply. The little pink one might not be enough to maximise this flaw if mine have it. I'll just get the ties off. Oh, blame, there's three ties. That is very generous. And the flaw is to do with the placement of the resistor. You see, it sounds like the resistor, which is supposed to be in series with the parallel string of lights from the connector, it sounds like some of them may actually have that in the wrong place. Uh, so I'm just going to plug this into something. Let's bring in the 2 amp supply. Plug it in. Will it do it? Will it do it? No, it didn't. No. Oh. You see, apparently... Uh, on some sets, the first LED in the string makes a loud pop and fires its cap off. That's quite exciting. And the reason for that, well, let me doodle that out. I, I've guessed what's actually happening there. I'll bring the notepad in. And whereas uh, you've got your USB connector, and normally uh, the you'd have a resistor in line with the LEDs all in parallel after that. Draws. Just a few LEDs. There's about, how many are there? There's, is it 10? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, there's 10. And normally they'd be wired like this. So the resistor limits the current. Um, where is the resistor? Is it visible? Red, black, black. So that's 2, 0, and no zeros. So it's 20 ohms. So let's do the maths, actually. Let's uh, bring in the calculator and uh, work that out. So I'm guessing the forward voltage of these LEDs is going to be roughly about 3 volts. So uh, 5 volts minus 3 volts is 2 volts to drop. I equals V over R is 2 volts to drop divided by the 20 ohms equals 0.1 amp, which is 100 milliamps, which is roughly 10 milliamps per LED. But what I'm guessing has actually happened in some of these sets is that because the of the way they're wired with the wire going in and then the resistor just soldered directly to the lead, it looks as though they've actually wired it like this. Uh, let me see, let me see here. 
the first LED right across the USB output uh, and then the resistor going in after that. And, you know, it's not a bad thing. It means that uh, LED is going to pass a lot of current. And when LEDs pass a lot of current, they tend to so often just make a loud pop noise and uh, and split in half. Uh, we can test that. Let's Let's emulate it. Let's emulate it with the last one in the circuit. So I'm going to chop this one off. I'm going to put the power supply on. So in summary, uh, the, yeah, USB, if that LED is connected across, then it will blow, but the other ones in line will be all right. And it usually does blow because it's got that tiny little bond wire in it. And once it's failed, uh, I'm just turn the power supply. Let's turn it. Oh, that's it. Let's leave it up at that voltage. That's quite good. What's the current I've got here? Let's pump the current up quite high for maximum, uh, maximum bang. I don't think it will make much of a bang. So let's get this up to about 2 amps to emulate a USB port. It would actually be higher than that. So let's bump up even higher. I'm just I'm just twisting this power supply right up higher. Okay, so let's cut off the last LED and see if we can emulate what's been happening in other sets. Before I do that, actually, you know, let's uh, see what the current is since my set appeared to be working. Spot on, 100 milliamps, as you'd expect for that. Okay. So I'm going to chop the last LED off. I'm going to do it in the style of many of these strings from China where they just go like that and they just leave the two ends sort of loose. It's, it's a common technique. And I'm going to strip this with a wire stripper. Where's my wire stripper? And normally the LEDs just sort of fail. They, they go crack, they make this distinctive noise because uh, there's a little bond wire on the crystal inside and it just kind of blows like a fuse. And if the crystal gets hot, it also might vent out vapour, I suppose. Not really sure. Deadly LED vapour. So uh, let's um, try this and see what happens. Nothing happening there. Let's try the polarity different. Nothing there either. I think that's just blowing safely. That's, that's disappointingly unexciting. Oh! We wanted bangs. Ah, oh, it's just failed in a nice controlled manner. Maybe it's because I actually did it with far too much current there. And it's just, uh, oh, what a disappointment. When you want something to go bang and it doesn't. Now I'm slightly sad, but not to worry. So yes, that's an anticlimax. But anyway, let's go on to these ones then. I should also, also mention that they're cold white. Ooh, they don't like cold white. These ones, on the other hand, are coloured caps. And they're different. These ones are very conical versus the curved other ones. I'm just I'm trying to think what I can I do here now, because uh, I'm disappointed that one didn't blow up. Uh, what colour is this LED? Is this a colour changing one? I don't think it's a colour changing one. It's a colour changer. I don't want to blow that up. It's too nice to blow up. Here's a warm white one. A insolent warm white one. So let's uh, try again. Let's uh, turn the voltage down the power supply. Let's emulate actual 5 volts to see if we can make it sort of be a bit less dramatic. Yeah, let's put it to about 5 volts. And I'll just shove the cap over this one just to see if it... Uh, Oh no, it's not going to fit over. Everything's going wrong. And we'll uh, try and blow this one to see if we can make it crack. It's gone set a green inside and it's, it's, it's thinking about it. It's actually, at 5 volts, it's gone down to 100 milliamps. Yeah, it's, it's kind of dead. Maybe it'll recover when it's cold. This is, no, nothing's blowing up. What is wrong? This is just terrible. So uh, this string of lights has the standard USB lead in one end, and it's got the uh, the small mi the micro USB connector on the other. Let's see what current the LEDs are drawing. I'm guessing it's maybe just affecting just a small number of the sets of these. I mean, a few people have said it's happened, but uh, well, it's not happening for me. So this set of how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight LEDs is drawing about 40 milliamps. That's five milliamps per LED. The LEDs are glued in, which is a bit disappointing, and they're also pushed right into the end. So, you know, the only, the only light 
brightly for the second half. But that's all right, it's a good visual effect. Cold white again, it would be nice with the warmer white just because it gives softer colors. But um, this, uh, oh, hold on, have I got anything I can charge with this? Have I got anything I can charge? Uh, what can I charge? Have I got anything at all here? I've, I'm not finding anything I can charge here. Oh, I know. Let's charge this flashlight and hope the polarity is right. Yeah, it's charging. Uh, uh, well, it's showing 400 milliamps it's charging at, but of course 50 milliamps off that for the LEDs. I wonder what the rating of the cable is. It seems like it could be fairly beefy. I'm not sure if... Uh, I'm not sure if it's just... Um, they've got the two cores that are going through the lights. I wonder if they're carrying power as well. And there's... it's just data in this one. There's only one we find out. Where's a pair of snips? There it is. Let's nibble around this and strip it. It's fairly vague. Uh, that's got the full power and data, so they've just uh, looped those cables up and then popped them into the end. I wonder if there's continuity. Uh, there's one way to find out, and that's to just leave those cables out, plug that in there, plug it back into the flashlight and see if it charges at all with current. No, they're just going in, it's lighting the LEDs and then the wires are just going into the end and just ending, they're not actually providing current to the load. So it is basically a USB cable with the power and data and then an auxiliary set just tied into the plug itself that are lighting the LEDs. But it looks quite nice, it's visually quite nice. Quick jump cut because I have been trying so hard to blow these LEDs up, I've been cutting them off the end and then connecting them to various voltages and currents and I've just, they're, they're failing in a controlled manner so if you have got one of these sets and it's gone pop you're very very lucky for the rest of us all we can really do is take electrolytic capacitors and shove them up the end of the caps and then perhaps power them up with inappropriate supplies that are putting about an amp through them to see if we can make them uh, do more exciting things like this. That's better! That's what all fair light should do.